Hi family, it's me, Miss Sam Wagwan. How you doing? Let's do a video on Meghan and Harry. Now, what exactly do we want to know? We want to know if it's true. Is it true that Meghan was an absolute bitch when she was in the royal family? Okay, when she was in the royal household. Is it Frogmore Castle? Because what the Daily Mail now is saying is that they're rehashing these old stories about the Sussex Survivor Squad. Basically, servants and maids and chefs and all those kinds of people, assistants and so on, who were, <clears throat> who were given to Meghan and Harry to help them with their royal lifestyle, with their royal lives and so on and so forth. Well, they're all coming out now saying that Meghan was a complete dragon and a complete bitch and they hate Harry as well, in a nutshell. Let's see if there's any truth to this whatsoever. I've got the Tarot of the Haunted House here. <clears throat> this is a convenient smear campaign, I think, but is there any truth to it? Okay. Do these people have legitimate claims? Was Megan, a, is Megan a bitch? <clears throat> Lord. <clears throat> in the reverse here we have the page of wands so I really wish this card did not come out have a look at it if you've watched my readings before you know exactly how I interpret this card I don't even have to interpret it the psychic energy on it is very very strong at the moment this is somebody in a fairground on a merry-go-round in the reverse this is Megan when the card is upright, you can see this beautiful, playful energy here. This magical, whimsical energy. This is the young girl on the carousel. She's having fun and she's enjoying herself and she's good natured, good humoured. In the reverse, this is a nasty, mischievous, dangerous energy. And someone who will play and mess you up on purpose and watch with glee. So what we have here on this card, unfortunately, family, is a case of Meghan using Harry to be a bitch towards the others. So using Harry to do her dirty work. OK. I can't give it to you any other way. This is Meghan here in the reverse. You'll note that the colour that she's wearing is green. I don't know how they claim expenses or how they claimed expenses in the past. I don't know how the money was allocated to them. I don't know if it was transferred into particular um, accounts for them, if they had new accounts set up and how it was administered. administrated, I don't know. But it seems as if Megan wanting money or wanting resources, or wanting material things, seems to be at the heart of all of the digs and the, and the bitchiness that she was showing towards those people, but doing it through Harry. Yeah, I'm just telling you what's coming up. It's fair to say that she had expectations, who won't have expectations if you are now living the life of a princess, a duchess, hmm, then you would expect a, a certain material come up, wouldn't you? I think that's to be expected. Do you not think that is reasonable? I think it's reasonable. The dangerous energy on here, though, is a little bit um, perplexing because I'm wondering, you know, Megan, you didn't have, Megan didn't have a long enough relationship with these people to want to harm them physically. <laughs> oh, God, I don't know. You see, what the Daily Mail are talking about, Ashe, what the Daily Mail are talking about is bullying and harassment but what's coming up here 
is physical harm and danger. It's a bit like putting something in the way of someone and they trip on it, you know, to make them trip up, that type of thing. Hold on. Disclaimer, this is all for entertainment purposes only. Okay. Tower of the Haunted House. www.celestialtarotreadings.com if you're waiting for your reading, it will be done today. All the readings that came in last night will be done today. And it has been very busy here in France. Okay. Six. Yeah, I told you it was about money, didn't I? Look, six of pentacles here in reverse. Told you. Didn't I tell you this? Look. This is Megan, okay? <clears throat> and she's handed out cheese and she's got some scales in her hands and... There are rats. Oh my god! I don't even want to read this. I don't want to. I don't want to read this card. Oh god! This is the thing. When you're a tarot reader, if you're a tarot reader, you can understand. When you read on people who you kind of like, you know, you don't have no issue with them. They ain't done anything to offend you, and then some shit comes out about them. Oh man! Anyway, this is Megan. And this six of pentacles in reverse, right? It's, well, when it's not in the reverse, when it's upright, it's about giving and receiving and uh, being a beneficiary and giving charity and stuff like that, that kind of thing. And you can see she's giving things. She's giving like coins, like cheese, let's say, to rats. Rats eat cheese. Family, what's coming up here is that Megan was paying people she had her own, okay, we've got this Sussex Survivor Squad, okay? We'll put them to the side. The Sussex Survivor Squad. Let me, I've got to think this one through. Hold on. Oh, Lord. We've got the Sussex Survivor Squad, and then we have another group of people who are benefiting from Megan and her coins. Megan needed money to pay her own little squad, her own team. I don't know who they are yet because I've got to pull some more cards. But she was, she wanted the cheese. She wanted the money and she's sending Harry to get more and more so she can then give it to her squad over here. Now you might say to yourself, well, Miss Sam, this is a normal thing. I ain't got no bra on, sorry. I just took a shower. This is a normal thing. You Maybe she wanted her own glam squad or her own... PA people, but she had this group of people who were on her separate payroll. Okay. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, Lord. Hold on. Who are these people? Because I'm pretty sure the British public don't know anything about these people. Because family, if they did, they would be an uproar. Who are these other people that were on Meghan's pay thingy? And where are they now? And she wasn't getting enough to satisfy them. She wasn't getting enough to pay them. Who are those people? And exactly what were their roles? Isn't this interesting? All right. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Next card. Lord. We got the devil card. And family, unfortunately, the energy attached to this card is about literal slavery. Now, many of you might say, who did she enslave? There is an energy here that she wanted some kind of get back. And she wanted to make people feel, make people within this Sussex squad, all the helpers and those people, the assistants and, and chefs and all those people, 
She wanted to make them feel as if they were enslaved. And she more so, she was addicted to, she coming up as the devil here. She herself was addicted to making them feel that way. I'm just going to be very frank with you here, family. This is Megan here, and these are the Sussex squad people within the royal family who said, who called her a bitch, says she's a bitch, says she's a dragon. But it does appear from this card that she definitely had this devilish energy attached to her in that house. And I don't know if she went in there. Here's me making excuses for Megan. I don't know if Megan went in there with the intention to be a devil and to enslave people, to make them feel as if they were slaves. Now you might say, well, Miss Sam, why would Meghan do something like that? Why would Meghan want to make the royal household and the servants and all of that, who are there to serve them, why would, you see the big fire there? Why would she make them want to feel like slaves. That James Brown song, <laughs> the James Brown song, the big payback. Do, do, do. <laughs> payback. Now, for all of you who said, well, Megan only recently became black. Megan only became black when she went into the royal family. You could be right. And it could be the fact that that thought, the way she was treated, because she said she never knew what it was like to be a black woman before. Didn't she say something like that? Maybe psychologically she just lost it. And said, all oh, you bitches who enslaved us once upon a time, all of you who enslaved my uh, Doria, my mother's ancestors on the cotton fields and so on, if she does have that in her background. Well, now, bitch, it's payback. Here I am, big and black and in the royal household, in Frogmore Castle, and you are here to serve me, and you're here to say, you're going to serve me. Do, do, do. The big payback. Now, some of you might find that hard to believe, but family, we never know what goes on behind closed doors. And I want to tell you that this dangerous energy here this play if you want to energy this i'm going to mess you up energy this is whoops oh dear never mind you had an accident oh my god is that your foot is that your finger oh my god did you get poked with something it's that kind of mischievous evil energy but where did it come from? Where? Where did it come from? Did she have it all along? Is Megan intrinsically evil? Which I don't personally think she is. But at some point, she started to act like a devil and to take it out on these people and to use Harry as a little puppet master. Because if they ain't going to listen to her, they're going to listen to him to enslave them. Big fire, big one, big action. Do this and be glad about it. Shut up and do it and do it well. I didn't want cream in my coffee. Who told you I wanted cream in my coffee? And I don't like that cup. Take it away. Why is this cushion on my chair? I don't like it. Where's the other ones that I brought yesterday? Please fetch them from wherever they have been taken and put them back on the chair, please. 
But there's more to it. There's more to it. You know, it is fair to say that the Sussex Survivor Squad could have been a group of timid old ladies. Let's say for argument's sake. They could have been very timid old ladies who are, you know, they're old school. They don't really, they're not really with it. They don't really know what's going on in the world. They've worked for five and ten years and three years and five years by the time they got with Megan, because I believe that they gave them a younger staff. But still, these are people who have led very, very sheltered lives. They're not with it. Let's get some more cards. Hmm. We've got the Nine of Swords here, family. Is this Megan? Hold on. We've got Harry here. We've got Harry here. Is this Page of Cups? He's not the Page. He's the Knight of Cups, excuse me. He's the Knight of Cups. And this is Megan. It does seem as if Megan was depressed while she was there. And this devilish behavior and the fact that she had this kind of psychological addiction to being evil towards them. See those two cards together. That could have contributed towards her depression. I'm not making excuses for her. But when she told us that she was anxious and depressed and sad and lonely, it, real, it really, really was big, big, bad, dotty depression. See all those swords there on the wall? Those swords, they refer to her decisions, past decisions, bad decisions that she made. Things that she definitely, definitely regrets. I don't know at what point in her life that regret entered her life. I don't know. Because you see, on this bed here on the Nine of Swords, usually we see a bed with rose, uh, a rose blanket. And there are like wooden etches on the bed of happier times. Her and Harry. Or her and other people just etchings on the bed of happier times with others but that bed can become a tomb it can become a grave here lies the former spirit of Megan the girl who was once kind the girl who was once charitable, the girl who was once full of joy. But at some point, regret entered her life. It just leaped into her. And this is before she even had children, so you can't blame it on hormones. But here are a string of regrets, lots of things that she's regretting. Nine. Again, the devil card energy, y'all are not going to like this, but the devil card energy is so strong in this reading that I've got to pair it again. I've got to pick it up again with this nine of swords. Regretting not treating people harsh enough. Regretting not marking her boundaries and setting her and, and marking her territory. Regretting using these types of words when she should have used these words. Regretting being nice and soft when she should have been harder. Dug them more. Let them know who's boss. No smiling. I'm not your friend. You are here to work for me. I don't like you, but I'm going to tolerate you. 
that thing that you did, do it again. Harry, get, get them to do it again. I don't like it. It's all wrong. Get them to do it again, Harry. You know, when you watch those Nollywood uh, movies, you see the Nigerian rich wife whose husband is hardly ever home and she sits at the table and she eats her food and she's eating her food. Bring me the fufu. Why is it cold? Bring me the igusi. It's not enough. Oh, there is no proper meat in here. That's shaki. I don't, do I look like I want to eat shaki every day? Shaki, shaki, shaki. Get out of my face before I slap you. Megan is giving very much that energy, but with more of a slavery agenda to it. You see, it seems like when Megan married Harry, her agenda changed because it's not coming up that she was like that before in terms of the way she wanted to make them feel. But that devil energy leapt into her. Just to remind you again of the cards. She had her own squad of people, her own people who she was paying and not getting enough money and stuff to give them. Don't know who these people are. You see, because I'm thinking maybe a PR person and personal assistant, but maybe she wanted to have her own on the side to do her own PR campaigns. But why would she feel it necessary that she needs to have her own separate independent PR campaign and assistant aside from what Clarence House has given her? I've got a couple of readings to do. I'm going to do two readings and come right back. This reading has been on Meghan and Harry and what the Daily Mail said about the Sussex Survivor Squad. Is Megan a bitch? You might need to rewind this reading back because I don't think bitch is the right word. It's a little bit more than that. Well, did you watch the reading that I did the other day? Where I said, hell hath no fury, like a black woman scorned. Harry's life matters. I hate to think, it's coming up family, I just got to say it. But I hate to think that Harry, even though she loves him, she loves the guy, right? And he loves her. But I hate to think that he's being used as a pawn now. Like this whole thing, it began as one thing and it's now morphed into something else because of all the energies that have been that has been involved in this thing. You know, sometimes things you start out one way and then they end up completely in a different way. And then you do wonder when those energies leapt in and crept in. And this, this slavery energy, wanting to enslave members of the, the royal help, support, staff, household, that, them people, wanting to enslave them. Megan, did you want to get back for, for slavery? Take it out on them? But then... If you were thinking that way, then why marry Harry in the first place, knowing that he represents slavery, imperialism, colonial rule, and all of that? He, him. The only other person you could have married would have been William and Prince Charles. You married the man who represents all of that. 
And then you went into the household and started to send out the fiery darts and enslave those people, make them feel like how we felt when we were on the <laughs> when we were in the cotton fields and cane fields and tobacco fields and the plantation. Well, then how did you treat the other white people that you've you you dated and that you married and all your white friends? How did you treat them? Why did you wait until you married Harry before? <laughs> or is it because you felt that you were discriminated against from jump? And you said, okay, you want to treat me like a black woman? Well, now I'm going to show you. I'm going to... I don't know. I don't know. Because it's... I don't even think black women do stuff like that. To be honest with you. I don't think that black women in their daily life... This is a whole separate conversation. But I don't think black women in their daily life... Or mixed or biracial women... I don't think that in their daily life they seek to subdue the so-called oppressor. And to be fair, it's not even so-called half the time because racism is a real thing. But I don't think black women are preoccupied with making white people feel like the nigger in the field once they start to work for them. Or maybe I'm not rich enough. Chime in, family. Put your comments in the in this video. I'd be interested to find, to to understand more about this energy. I'm gonna stop right there because it can be overwhelming and it can go on and on and on and on and on and on. I'll be back. This video has been on Meghan and Harry. And the Sussex Survivor Squad. The royal slaves. Well, they're not royal, are they? The royal servants on the plantation at Frogmore. From more plantation to us. Ashe. Bless. Chukudalo. www.celestialtarotreadings.com